Hey guys, um, I've, uh, I was just going out to uh, basically my oh dear, my workshop is an absolute well my computer desk is an absolute mess as in everything on my computer the desktop uh, so I've just been clearing it all up and I came across some of the very first thing I ever made uh, apart from the Wolverine claws I don't know where those pictures are but um, this is one of the first things I made was the uh, the Batman Dark Knight suit uh, it took me to about six months to make it and it cost me about I think it cost about two two and a half grand for me to make the whole thing um, and uh, I was just tidying up my desktop on the computer and I came across the photos which I've not seen for years uh, and I started doing this um, no I finished this on the 30th of October 2014 and I just thought, you know what, I just want to kind of like share, see what you think. I mean, bear in mind, this is The Dark Knight. Um, I can't remember, we, I think it was the second film, uh, or The Dark Knight film that I based it on. Um, so I'm going to jump over to the other screen. And there we are. Here we have The, the Dark Knight suit. Um, so, I can zoom in. It's Unfortunately, cameras at the time weren't that great, but all this was individually made Kevlar detailing. So tiny hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of little tiny squares all across that uh, I actually purchased the belt um, <clears throat> because well I, couldn't, I did try making the belt but I just couldn't be bothered in the end it was a nightmare um, the uh, so with all the the different parts obviously I've got down what it's made from but uh, the this section here was actually a polyurethane rubber uh, so I pour a light grey rubber first into the mould to get these parts and then I poured uh, the black uh, leather and it's also here so there's also these Kevlar bits here 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 and here uh, as, I, as you can see there Kevlar effect uh, so these were poured first with a, a light grey uh, polyurethane rubber and then once they had set I then poured a dark black uh, urethane rubber and that went underneath and it fitted really well on the back it had uh, adjustable straps so it could fit basically any size it was really comfy uh, this was made from salt, uh, from uh, hard uh, Shaw 80 uh, polyurethane liquid plastic. So it was really hard. And the actual, when I was out, went out drinking this for my birthday because I made it for Halloween for my birthday. Um, somebody thought it'd be funny to come over and try and see how tough the armor was. Uh, he actually punched the the chest plate as hard as he could around here, and he actually uh, actually bruised and damaged his knuckle from doing so didn't hurt me at all because it dispersed the weight uh, the impact across my whole of my chest so it didn't really hurt me and it didn't even push me back and he put he punched it as hard as he could so that was quite cool uh, it all, these were also uh, made from the same really I mean these these pieces here the shoulders and the chest were about five to eight mil thick of solid hard plastic a knife couldn't go through these things it was ludicrously strong uh, again we have the neck piece that was the urethane rubber and I made these gauntlets so and I've got some more pictures of it here so you can see the you can kind of really see the uh, Kevlar effect from there so they're just tiny little square holes uh, pushed in each time uh, uh, in order uh, you can see it quite well there it looks like Kevlar but it's obviously not uh, and these were the um, uh, gauntlets that I made as well I wasn't super happy with gauntlets I actually had a velcro strap um, they were too thick, uh, to be honest, for the purpose. Um, but they had a Velcro strap on it, which uh, kept it in place. And you can see the, the shoulder part came down there as well. I mean, it was really, really thick. Very comfortable, though. Um, and these are the armor plates on the, le uh, the legs. These, I just got some jeans. And um, I actually had uh, my wife lie down. And she wore some jeans. And I actually drew out the pattern that I wanted. Of the pieces on uh, on the jeans while she wore them so they were like properly uh, to size uh, and then I cut out those parts of the jeans and then transfer them into a template for uh, these armor pieces and then these were sewn in at like corners and points as well so they were really good uh, this was a cape um, quite hard to find the material but the the neck piece I also got all the detailing on the neck piece at the back as well I really wish I had high-res photos of this. I used to be called Movie Prop Replicas when I first started. Um, is this any better colour? Well, you, can, you can see the Kevlar effect a bit better. It's, 
unfortunately it's just not great i had to shave for this it was one of the first times in a long time where i had to shave um that's not a particularly good picture of the gauntlets but you can see the kevlar these were quite fun to make um and that's quite a good one of the cape as well the whole thing um i, I originally had the idea of calling it movie masks for you i was going to do movie masks uh, but it changed into me doing um movie prop replicas and then it evolved to being four savers which we know now but the cape was really cool it was a really good cape and it blew in the wind really well like in the film uh that's a thing uh another good look at the uh the amber on the legs so every single piece i made uh so it costs a lot of money and it took a long time but i just thought i'd share it with you see what you guys think um i can still make these sort of things i can still if you wanted to see i could still go off and make it i most probably be a lot better at it now uh but this was well before i mean this was 2014 3d printers didn't even exist uh in 2014 when i was doing all this so uh, yeah, the one of the interesting things that made me laugh was when I was uh, can I go back to the main photo again? So I, I when I was designing everything because uh, I've never had any training I've never been shown how to do anything uh, when it comes to this sort of stuff But when I was designing and making everything uh, I contacted the company that uh, I purchased these uh, materials from the the rubbers and the urethane liquid plastics and I said to him, I was going to make, I told him that I was going to make each of these things. So I said with the shoulders and the chest piece, I'm going to make it from um, liquid plastic. And for everything else, I'm going to use uh, urethane rubber. Um, and I said, will that be okay from their experience and their what they know of the material? And they said, they came back and said, uh, yeah, no, that's absolutely fine. The guys that make the things from Game of Thrones also use the exact same materials in the exact same places. So the guys that make the props for uh, Game of Thrones also use the exact same exact same matching materials I did to make all these parts around here and here. And I always found that really cool. You know, guys that have gone to university, uh, that had loads of training, um, compared to me that's never gone to university, had no training, uh, and we ended up using the exact same materials for the exact same parts. So I always thought that was interesting. But... I hope you liked the uh, the video. It's just a little bit of a bla uh, blast back to the past, how I started. I uh, thought it'd be nice to show you all. Uh, let me know what you think of the Batman suit. See you later, guys.